It's time for round two in the second event of the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Rally Championship. Eight drivers will be racing head to head, but only the top six will continue in the DRC. Welcome back, you're watching the 3D Bot Maker Diecast Rally Championship here on the 3D Bot Maker YouTube channel. It's time for round two in the second event of the DRC. This is where things really start to heat up 3D. When you have these guys going head to head, anything can happen out there on the track. That's for sure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the leaders board. On the top, we have Stephen King and Kid Do Not, both of them driving the Ford Escort Rally. There's just something about that car and this track. It's like it was made for it. Then we have a three-way tie between Alan Willoughby, Justin Rules 04, and Paul R. Underneath them is Hasman Noor. Then we have Freckle 35 and the Hungarian Polar Bear at the bottom with two points each. So far, it's not looking very good for the small cars. Here's how the points will be scored in round two. You can get up to four points for passing the checkpoints, a bonus point for finishing in first place, one point if your car touches after the big air bonus line, and an additional point if you make it past that max air line. I've got my fingers crossed for a max air in this round. Well, if anybody can do it, it's Superman Stephen King in the number eight Ford Escort Rally. He's coming out of round one with five points. He'll be going up against the Hungarian Polar Bear in the Morris Mini. He only has two points, so he's got a lot of ground to make up in this round. Yeah, well, he's got his work cut out for him because he's going up against the Diecast Rally Champion. Stephen King, the DRC Event 1 Champion, starting off this race with a huge lead. I think he's going for he's it. He's got the speed. Whoa! Oh! Did you see that? <laughs> yes. Did you see that? That was incredible. Max Air, baby. Stephen King. Max Air. Flying through That's the air. That's what I'm talking about. I'm speechless. He has a rough oh, landing there. His car ends up on its side, but that's what happens when you go all out. Look at this again. Here it is. Wow. wow. Just look at that hang time in the air. Incredible. Just when you think you've seen it all from Stephen King. Look at, look this at that. This is what happens when you combine skill with confidence. And what better way to build confidence than getting yourself the new Superman Stephen King t-shirt from the merch store. Believe me, I've got mine on order already. What color did you go with? You know me. I had to go with the premium cool blue. I just got my DRC t-shirt in the mail this past week. Absolutely love it. Okay, I think we've plugged the merch store enough. Stephen King out in the lead again. The Hungarian polar bear not far behind. Can he do it again? Stephen King has some trouble coming off that corner, plays it safe over the jump, but that's something he can afford after his performance in the first race. And for the second time in this event, the Hungarian polar bear has wrecked. Yeah, so far it's not looking good for these short wheelbase cars. I just think polar bears probably shouldn't be driving cars in the first place. Yeah, I don't think it's actually a polar bear. Then why the name? People pick all types of aliases and names for online. I think it's a bear. Stephen King ends round two with 17 points. The Hungarian polar bear only with eight. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's gonna cut it. Keep in mind that the bottom two drivers in points will be going home. Up next, we have Justin Rules 04 in the number 20 Audi Quattro. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I thought you said Ow. I said Audi. You got an Audi? The Audi Quattro. I, I think you mean Audi. No, it's not pronounced Is like this that. because people commented on how we pronounce the car? Hey, we all say some things wrong sometimes. No, no. Sometimes we make mistakes. Come on, man. You got to stand your ground. That's how you improve. No, no, no. This goes out to everybody who complained about it. Audi. Audi. Are you done? <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, what happened to the Audi? Apparently it wrecked during your mispronunciation rant. Ah, uh, what a shame. A solid run for Paul R. in the Toyota Supra. He picks up five points on the first race. Justin rules 04, only making it past two checkpoints. Here's another look at what happened. Looks like he hit a boulder, then a tree, then ran into that second boulder. Let's see from another angle. Oh yeah, wow. Man, those fans are lucky. He came very close. That race is gonna put Justin Rules three points below Paul R. He's still got a chance though to make it up on the second race. The most important thing is you do not want to be in the bottom two. The lane positions have been switched. This time Paul R starting off on the inside in the number 41 Toyota Supra. Both these cars made by Matchbox, they seem pretty evenly matched here. Side by side going into the first hairpin, Paul R taking the lead this time. Oh, we've got some contact. Some aggressive driving by Justin Rules. Oh. Justin Rules takes the win while Paul R gets forced off the track. Hey, you know how it goes. 
Rubbin is racing. That looks like a little more than just some rubbin. Yeah, that's what she said. Hey, look at that sign. Oh, come on. I think it's broke. You know how long it took us to make that? That's going on somebody's bill. Yeah, seriously, if you're gonna wreck, don't break stuff. Here's a look at the replay. Justin Rules chasing down Paul R. He was just relentless. Look right here, Paul R goes for the block. So he kind of brought that upon himself. Yeah, you know, you're right. I didn't notice that the first time around. Hey, if you're gonna cut someone off, you've gotta be prepared for the consequences. Paul R finishes round two with 12 points. Justin rules right underneath him with 11 points. Those two are still very close. I hope we get to see them race again. We've still got two more groups to go in round two. We'll be right back after the break. Welcome back, you're watching the 3D Botmaker Diecast Rally Championship. Up next we have Kid Do Not in the number 5 Ford Escort. He'll be going up against Freckle35 in the number 2 Fiat 500. Freckle35 only scoring 2 points in round 1 in that Fiat. I'm hoping he can make it past the finish line today. He's going up against rookie driver Kid Do Not, who tied Stephen King in round one, setting himself up to be a top competitor in this event. Look at him go. He drifts around the corner, uh -oh. gets off the side of the track. Somehow he's able to recover and make it past the finish line. But I think what we're seeing here is a lack of experience. Oh, what happened to Freckle? Freckle 35 has that Fiat 500 on its side coming out of that second turn. Let's go to the replay. Look at the kid flying through the air in that escort. Here comes Freckle 35. It looks like he did the same thing as he did in round one. Yeah, he's really having trouble with that first jump. As we've seen today, that first jump is a decisive point on this track. Kids are not pulling ahead again on the outside lane. He's got a big lead going over the bridge. Let's see if he can handle the second turn. Kid do not rolls over. And Freckle 35 comes to a sudden stop, was not able to get around Kid do not. That is going to put him down at the bottom. That Fiat 500 has not made it down here to the finish line at all during this event. A tough break for Kid Do Not. He certainly got the speed and he's not afraid to push that car. But once again, the lack of experience can really cost you in the race. Yeah, but he's still not doing that bad. Kid Do Not in second place with 13 points. He's not too far out of range from the champ, Stephen King. Now on to our last two drivers of the day. We've got Alan Willoughby in the number one Volkswagen Polo WRC. He's going up against Hasman Noor in the 99 Subaru Impreza WRX. The VW Polo is a majorette. The Subaru is a Hot Wheels. We've got ourselves a battle of the brand. Hasman Noor with a slight lead going into the first turn. It's a close race going over the bridge. Hasman Noor pulling ahead. Willoughby is on his tail. Hasman Noor gets sideways and brings both cars to a complete stop. I know that's gotta be disappointing for Alan Willoughby. He really didn't make any mistakes in that race. He just had nowhere to go once that Subaru got sideways. Another competitive race in the second round. You can see Willoughby chasing down Hasman Noor. Right here, Hasman hits the side wall. Alan Willoughby really just didn't have time to avoid that collision. Both drivers scored three points on that race. Alan Willoughby needs at least two more points. Hasman Noor needs at least three in order for them to avoid elimination. All they need to do is get close to the finish line and they're both gonna be safe. Hasman Noor with a sizable lead. Here comes Alan Willoughby. We've got contact. Oh. And Hasman Noor leaves Alan Willoughby back at the finish line. It looks like he got his car stuck on the hill. He was so close. The good news is both drivers will be advancing on to the next round, but losing those few points here can come back to haunt you as the event continues on. Hasmanor showing once again he has no idea how to drive that car. Alan Willoughby seems to be lacking in power and just was not able to find his way around Hasmanor in this race. Hopefully his team can get that VW tuned up in time for the next round. And maybe somebody can show Hasmanor how to drive around a corner. Come on, be nice. Seriously, my granny can do it and she's got cataracts. That's actually true. I saw her go down the track in a Dodge Caravan. Watch out, Stephen King. Granny D is coming for you. Here's a look at the leaders board. Stephen King on top with 17 points, followed by Kid Do Not in second place. Paul R. takes third. Hasman Noor, Justin Rules tie for fourth. Alan Willoughby is in fifth. Unfortunately, the Hungarian Polar Bear and Freckle 35 are out of the event. Six drivers left. Things are getting intense. Yes, they are. You've been watching the 3D Botmaker Diecast Rally Championship. I'm 3D. I'm 2D. And we'll see you on, on the, the track. track.